Hey guys, like 25 and Arsenal 2234. With episode 110 of Review, today we have the Power Rangers Turbo, the Turbo Morpher, and the Turbo Key, and the Synergizer, aka the Axel Changer, and the Synergizer from Gexo Sentai Car Rangers. All right, so first up we have the Turbo Morpher. It's just mainly much a small little thing. Now you can actually think of it like a steering wheel kind of thing, or an engine because it kind of looks like an engine. It, just, it looks like it because, but when you put it on the side, it looks like a little handle. And now you get, of course, the key. The key is metal and, and is chrome, which is really nice. This is actually one of the few changes that actually has two items. The morpher itself and a secondary thing or a, a secondary brace like the Xeonizer, the Magnet Defender Morpher or the Geki Changers or, Changers, or even the Bracket Morpher. So this is the key, it is metal and to actually pop it out you just press the button on the side and it pops out. Also the key has a little a hole here so you can actually put it like a little keychain or anything on it because I actually do that at car yeah. if you look closely some of the girls actually have keychains on them so you can actually put them in like a little keychain or you know put it out as a little necklace if you want but it is real metal so be careful with it so the thing itself there is actually sadly no on and off switch so no matter the moment you put in the batteries and forts it's going to be draining batteries now the strap is really nice it does fit us and it has a symbol of the turbo so this is how you would put on the Morpher. It looks really nice, but sadly, it's really, really small. What I found shocking is that it was really small because when you look at, look at it inside either Car Rangers or Turbo, the thing actually looks huge. It looks like at least at least up to this big, and when you look at the toys, like what the heck is this small? So to just activate the sound, just put in the key, and then that's it. So now the second sound effect is just you press the button on the top. And it's just a calling sound effect. Unfortunately, we'd actually never hear this in turbo, but in car wrenches, this is the sound effect that does go off when they're getting called. All right, so now the funny thing is that all of this stands actually for certain things. You can actually think of it as red, blue, green, yellow, and pink, just like in turbo. But in car rangers, red racer, blue racer, green racer, yellow racer, pink racer. Then of course, it, it just looks weird. You really don't need the key to actually turn it. You could just... And it'll trigger it itself. Similar to how the Brachio Morpher, you can trigger it any way you want. Even the key position, you can insert it any way you want and it'll still work. Yeah, so we could just insert it backwards. And it'll still work. And there's no specific way to actually do anything. The key actually has some nice decals on the back. Uh, it, looks, it actually looks like a real car key because when you insert it in the engine, it actually looks like it. So it's really, really nice. The sticker, of course, it looks, it says Turbo Rangers. It's really nice. The chrome is really good. All right, so now we have the Blue Centurion's badge, if you guys call it, the Synergizer. It's mainly much just a little badge like this is this is it in the badge mode, which is like mainly much when he comes out, he'll say halt, you know, and whatnot. And it would flash, you know, the same stop lights, red, yellow, green. So to do the gun mode, we just gotta push it up and slant it, and here's gun mode. Mainly much is just a gun. It's a really nice gun. Now to do my, this final mode is baton mode. All you gotta do is just have this out, and it's the baton mode. You can think of it as sword mode because it actually looks like a sword anyway. Unfortunately, since it's really small, there's really not much to the sword. There's no extra extra, extra attachment to make it longer. So. For me holding it right now, it's just almost decent, but it should be a bit bigger because it's for kids, so. All right, now for the sound effects, the on and off switch is right in the back, so you just turn it on. This is actually a recording feature. So as you guys can see right here, there's a R, &P. R and P. R is record, P is to play back. So when we press the R, hello, hello, hello. Unfortunately, whenever you're in gun mode or baton mode, it's just gonna trigger out the recording feature, but it does have all the three lights light up. But other than that, that's all it does. Same goes in baton mode. It's basically there just to kind of mimic what the Blue Centurion did or Signal Man did in Car Rage, where he would say, hit whatever line and did the sound effect. Now in badge mode, this is actually a really nice size for it because it actually fits your hand really well. <laughs> so 
So alteration wise, now the turbo morpher was actually changed very little. We did keep the strap, we kept the symbol on the back, just like in other series. The chrome was kept. The chrome was kept, the key is metal, which is really, really the first key we actually had in metal. Powering is down the the bracket on morpher was supposed to have a metal key, but it didn't. And it was a flute. Now also, the, of course, the only things mainly much that has changed were the stickers. Turbo, instead of Turbo Rangers, it's, like it's Rangers. Car Rangers. Now you guys, if you watch Sentai, Turbo Rangers was actually a series in Sentai. And the last sticker change was the top over here because it did say Car Rangers as well, but we replaced it to a sticker, but originally it was molded into there. The symbols for R, Blue, R, B, G, Y, P are the same because these, these are the colors of the Rangers and the sound effects, sound were, identical. effects were the same. The Sennheiser, the sad part is, is that we took a lot of things out. Originally, what happened in the Japanese version, along with the Cinderdarger, you also got a special nice badge of the Blue Centurion. It was basically what this looks like, but it was like much bigger and it looked really nice. They did keep the chrome, lights, and the recording feature for your voice, but unfortunately they took out the sound effects for the gun mode and baton mode, because after your voice would play back, it would simply play back a sound effect along with it, mimicking what the Blue Centurion did. You're gonna have like very little play times, like okay, we just have one sound and that's it. You couldn't, you can't even like do anything else with it, which is really the downside of this toy because if they kept the original sound effects, it would be nice. But when you just fire or pretend you're playing around and you have the same sound and you have your voice, it's just pretty dumb. Another change that happened was the battery compartment. Again, just like in the uh, Turbo Gun they changed the thing from a slip out to a screw in. And also they kept changing the color of this little badge in here. Originally it was brightly colored gold, but then they kept dulling it out and eventually it went to silver while in the Japanese one it was always brightly gold. <laughs> The Japanese one of the Sennheiser is actually better because you, you, get, play, the nice you get the nice badge. That I would recommend over the American one because we lost a badge and you only have one sound which is just playback sound that's it. Turbo Morpher, I would say it's a hit and miss because they did re 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 reissue this in the Lost Galaxy era but it wasn't called it was the, the stickers. The sticker was changed and it, was, it had the same sound effects. It was just called the Galactic Morpher. This thing I don't like is there's no on and off switch, so the batteries get drained really, really fast. And of course, it doesn't have anything, any like cool feature besides the key. It just, just has two sound effects. That's it, and it's pretty dang small. I don't like how this is pretty small, and yet it costs so much for people right now. I don't understand why people online are like paying 40 and 50 dollars for this little small thing, and it only does two sounds. And that's it. It's, not, it's something I don't think is worth it, unless of course it had more sound effects or something. Like if you press a button on the blue or the green, it does something different. But it doesn't. Well, like had a mini game. Overall, these toys are okay, but they're really, really hard to find. I would suggest that you guys, if you can, try to avoid the turbo stuff. But if you really, really like the turbo morpher, then by far try to get it. But in my personal opinion, I don't. It's not worth it. the money. But yeah, that's it for the, our review of the Turbo Morph and the Synergizer. Join us next week for the Power Ranger Sam, my delight Zord, aka Daigoyo. Here comes the Scrap We'll see you next week. Took us four f***ing Synergizers just to get one f***ing working. I know. When we had a Japanese one, we don't have it anymore. Well, I do. It's still, my, it's still my house, but it's like, it's pointless. I know, it's pointless, so. Hey guys, I'm Go25. And Archer 9234. But it was a 110 of Ranger review today. We have the Power Rangers Turbo, the Turbo Morph, and the Synergizer. Hey guys, Duckboot25. And Archer 9234. With episode 110 of Ranger Review, today we have the Power Rangers Turbo, the Turbo Morpher, the Turbo Key, and the Synergizer from Power Rangers Turbo, aka the Axel Changer and the. <laughs> Synergizer. Just say Synergizer. Hey guys, Duckboot25. And Archer 9234. With episode 110 of Ranger Review. Damn it, what the f happened there? <laughs> Hey guys, like Blue 25. And Archer 9234. <laughs> <laughs> See now, after a certain amount of time, I'll start screwing up. First I screw up, now you screw up. <laughs> oh man, this is, this is hilarious. Oh man. This is why it's I, I think this we're getting tired of saying the same thing over and over again. Yeah, I think we are. I guess if you were a really huge fan of Turbo, you could actually modify the key to actually work in your car. Yeah, you actually can. Just like the in Gokai just with the Ranger keys, that people that actually can modify the key to make it hold your real key. So it's actually pretty cool to see that.